welcome again. This is another episode of um, Understanding and how to use DP Animation Maker. Welcome again. This is episode 2. This is your host, the Z Bandit. I'll be showing you guys how to make work with a couple effects. We'll be working with the effects module now. I'll show you guys a couple different photos, a couple backgrounds on how to and all these effects will be utilized today so I'll make a short crash course on how to use these effects and then I'll get into another video on how to use the brushes and other tools in in DP animation maker this is gonna be maybe like a five part video who knows could be longer I'm trying to see what I can do but um yeah all right, let's get into it. First off, we'll uh, add our background. I have uh, choose a couple backgrounds here already. Let's uh, start with this one. I'll show you guys how to use the matrix animation. This is the design I made myself. And I'll show you guys how to use the matrix animation. So we have the code here. As you can see, the, the matrix code is there. But now I want... I want the matrix code to be I want the matrix code to take the picture form. So what I'm gonna do is what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the settings button here and then once you see matrix code effects then now you can set the how you want it and however you want it. If you write right down here, click the black background, uh transform into matrix and voila. Here you have El Tigre, El Tiger in matrix form. You could also dense it up if you want, put more density, or you could re make the fonts bigger, all, all of different, whatever you want. But it's just like, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool effect you can add to your videos or whatever. Yeah, make your videos pop a bit by making uh, YouTube. Uh, making uh, matrix videos or something like if you want to do code number effects or something you could change the color also if you want You could put it blue red Change the color to whatever whatever you want. I Have the highlighted color blue. I have it. I could put it a lighter red And voila we have a red matrix it's a uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's the that's the main thing about this video. It's pretty. I mean, not the video, but the program is pretty straightforward. It already has a lot of tools already there for you. But yeah, you just have to really understand what it's about, and that's what I'm here to show you. So you don't really have to go into trying to learn too much or trying to burst your burst your head. Where's your brain? You know? So yeah, this is just one tool. And now um, let's get into the next one. I'll change the background. Let's get into this fire background here. Change the matrix code and choose fire. And now, as you can see, it has a fire effect on it now. Now the fire looks live. Same effect, same same button. Fire effect, you could change the speed of the fire, make it faster. Well, actually, this is, it has two effects. It has a fire and it has fire haze. So meaning like, um, you know, when you see the fire, like you see some type of haze from the fire. Yeah, that. So you could raise the, lower the fire or you could raise it. This is the highest it goes. And also, you could speed it up, make the fire burn fast, or burns real store stop self. Yeah, you could really mess around with this. Also, this thing it could make it like as a real burning building, make the whole background become live. Like yeah, the whole building is burning. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Or you could take off the fire and just leave the haze. <laughs> or you could take off the haze and leave the fire, it's up to you. 
whatever it is. Fire is pretty straightforward, same thing like the matrix code. Pretty straightforward. Once you click the effects button, you'll basically see everything you could um choose whether you want height or whatever, you choose whatever background you want, add it, make it a video length or what uh, yeah. Uh, let's get into another photo. Uh, this is an underwater photo. I'll show you guys this one. So basically what he's doing is just making the background look like it's realistic. Like it's a realistic underground um, underwater. And you could uh, basically amp it up. You could turn up the amplitude. You could turn up the speed. Uh, you could turn up the wavelength, make it more wavy, so it could be more seen, like real water or so. Turn on the speed a bit. Put down the amplitude, and yeah, we have some real water moving. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty straightforward, pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. I, I, I That's why I'm trying to show you guys this program, so you guys could get to know it. And understand it but yeah I'm pretty good at it I make a few videos most of my videos are probably most couple of my videos are made from this program because it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy but now I'm trying to show you guys how to really use it and what programs I'm using also there's other there's this water effect but I'll show you this in another with another picture with another background with this background. Now I could drop this right here, and basically it looks like the the guy is like yeah, he's mirrored off of the water, but it doesn't really look like it's blending. You check, it doesn't look like it's blending. So I'll go into the same settings, change the color of the water. Probably put it like, uh, try to mimic the water as much as possible. Let me see, that blue is good. And basically, you want to turn down the saturation. And voila, you have. Turn on the gradient a bit. Yeah. Yeah, and that, voila, we have a perfectly matched mirror. Water, look like he's mirroring the water. If I want, I could, uh, I'll get into brushes in another video to show you guys how to move this water. But I could move the mirror water if I feel. Like right here, you could turn down the dim, the detail, detail, detail is, detail, detailization. You turn it down here and basically the water it has a little moving water effect like pretty pretty awesome uh yeah and i choose another this is another background here this background also is pretty cool looks like it has a little pool or a little puddle it looks cool and like you could take a regular background and turn it if I take off this background you're gonna see it's basically a bench a bench here but now I put on the mirror water it looks like uh, it's next to a lake <laughs> it's like yo it looks like it's running in a puddle of water and stuff so it looks pretty cool so you could change you could take a one a one background and change it into a whole nother background and make it pretty awesome so it's kind of, this is why I, I, I recommend this program. It's not that expensive, so I, I recommend this program. Even though the program is not paying me for promotion, but I would recommend this program if you're doing, if you're trying to make videos off of animation, or if you're trying to make a quick uh, video from a background, or, yeah. Adobe is pretty good too, but it's, more, it's a lot more work. This is pretty straightforward. Like I can go into this other other um animation and this is a globe. I click the same settings. Now we could um change it to make it spin left, spin right, 
same thing speed whatever could also add like a pedestal on the bottom make it really look like a real grove it's pretty yeah yeah it's pretty it's, it's cool zoom in zoom out make it small make it big yeah this is pretty cool and now last but not least i have this other picture here this picture was also in my one of my other videos this you can use the uh, ring waters so this is like raindrops but i would more use this if you're using like tranquil tranquility type videos or so makes it look kind of cool and stuff yeah it's not it, yeah it's the same thing you could uh effects make it slope make it look different like it's real raindrops dropping you know so it's kind of it's kind of cool Turn on the glossiness, make it bright, make it darker. Make it bigger, make it smaller. Yeah, this this is this program it, it has more tools and I'll get into the brushes later in another video. In the next video I'll get into brushes and I'll show you how to use every brush that is here. From the background copy to custom patterns to make your own patterns, make your own brushes and all these different stuff. And then I'll probably get into um, airbrushing too. Probably show you guys some of the airbrushing, what the, what the airbrushing tools can do. And probably some text. In the next, maybe I'll leave that for the next video, but I'll see what's going on. But the next video is for uh, make... It's about uh, brush, brushes, yeah, brushes. And this will be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to leave a comment. This is your boy Z Bandit. Shout out to Will Be On Your Eyes. Welcome to the Z Bandit channel.